Alright guys, what up? This is Wirewolf here, and um, today we're actually doing a bit of a game spotlight thing? I don't know what you would call this. Um, but this is for you platformer fans out there who grew up playing games like I did, like, you know, Mega Man X and so on. The game's 20XX. Uh, Let's jump right on in. Oh, uh, ooh, it's changed since the last time I played. Ooh, multiplayer. Um, anyways, it, it's very similar in playing style to games like Mega Man X and so on. Uh,. And you have two playable characters, as far as I know right now. Ace, who's strongly a sword user. Which they fixed his animations, which is cool. Uh, and Nina, who is very much a gun welder. You know, you have your different corsets types. And then you have uh, I believe these are challenges. Yeah, you have your daily challenge, your daily hardcore, your weekly challenge, your weekly hardcore, rush job, and speed racer. These are your challenges. Uh, let's go down. Just stuff. You have a shop here. But as it's going, uh, we're gonna hop into casual. We're gonna show you the meat and potatoes of this game, as it were. Uh, first, let's, uh, I believe, ninja sash, heart canister, storm band. Different items give you different abilities. Okay. Now, as you can see, these stages are nuts, even on casual. I don't know. Uh, okay. Nope. This is probably my last life. Oh yeah, because I'm playing cash. As you can see, I'm not very good at this, finally. I died. Return back to the arc. Now, here's what's cool about this game. Uh, yeah, here's what's real cool about this game. Um, other than the music. I love the music. It sounds real cool. The stages are randomly generated. I think, though, I entered this one fast enough that it hadn't randomed. Yeah. Shoot. No, it's different. But yeah, the stages are all randomly generated. Meaning... Go this way. Okay. 
Meaning that no two playthroughs are the exact same. Giving it a lot of, uh, what people call replayability. Though I don't recommend playing this with a mouse and keyboard, because I have tried. I'm actually playing this with a Steam controller, and you see how well I'm doing. Cook chest. Means new items. New items. But yeah. Uh. No, it's a fun little title. Um. Half the time I don't know what I'm doing. But yeah, uh, cool. I believe this is an item shop. I don't have any money, so we're not going to do that. And here's the boss fight. Which... As you can tell, not very good at this style of game, but having fun with it nonetheless. Plus I'm recording, which makes this about nine times harder. Yeah. But, um, for those of you who are, you know, side-scrolling fans, uh, I do heavily recommend this title. Because it is fun. Uh, it does remind me a lot of the old Mega Man type titles. You know, growing up. Plus, it feels good on a controller. Um, the random generation adds stuff to the game that you just would not believe. And it's actually fairly comfortable to play. Um, anyways, that'll be it for this review. I am Werewolf, signing off. Bye bye